you know, when we practice mindfulness and when we teach mindfulness to others, um, it's somewhat easy to get caught up in um, really bringing mindfulness to formal meditations and then sort of relaxing our mindfulness around um, daily life. So, you know, when we talk about informal mindfulness in daily life, oftentimes the examples that are shared are just taking a shower, going for a walk, sort of these neutral life experiences that we have. And so it's relatively easy to bring mindfulness to those kinds of experiences, sort of these common everyday neutral experiences. Um, but what many people don't bring mindfulness to are these um, sort of cravings that we have that many of us take for granted. The cravings for distraction, the cravings for, um, you know, watching a lot of sports or getting lost in, uh, in watching sports or um, indulging in um, really rich foods all the time or um, caffeine or alcohol. Um, so the invitation that we can share with ourselves and with our students is to notice these forms of cravings, these forms of um, wanting to feel um, something pleasant and sort of go automatically going for that rather than checking in with how it feels without those things. Can I be okay or can I release the, the, the sense of need around doing that thing that I tend to do? Can I be with what's here without um, the need to introduce um, these distractions or these these ways of coping. So, um, so I do encourage each of you to reflect on um, what you think you need to be happy. and to question some of those things. Now, we all need friendship, we all need love, we all need, you know, to take care of ourselves, and there's certainly nothing wrong with, um, you know, lasagna <laughs> or a cup of coffee or whatever it is, but can we notice how we relate to those things and seeing if there's room for softening um, any sense of need around it. And to see if we can be with what's here um, before doing that thing. And so that um, sort of informal mindfulness practice takes a lot of courage to do. And so, you know, this isn't a judgment on these actions that we do. Um, you know, and, and some people think that we're all kind of addicted to something um, and, um, 
there's a wonderful mindfulness teacher that some of you I'm sure are very familiar with, um, Judson Brewer, who um, is a wonderful mindfulness teacher. He has free um, talks and meditations online. He has a really popular TED talk online about how to bring mindfulness or how to use mindfulness for addiction. And really kind of the essence of it is to be curious about how you actually feel in your body before, during, and after um, the ways that you cope or the feelings that you have around um, what it is that you use to soothe yourself. So my point here is to stay curious or up your curiosity for what you actually feel, especially in the body, um, as these cravings come up and stay with it, see if you can be with it and question your need for it to be happy. And sometimes it's helpful to actually give a voice to what you, you're believing in the moment, to hear yourself say things out loud, um, to see if it passes the, the, the mustard or cuts the mustard on how it sounds to you. So let's say I woke up this morning. I said, well, um, I need um, a breakfast burrito with hot sauce, big cup of coffee, um, and a massage before I do my mastermind call um, in order to feel okay. And so if I believe that, now if, that's, if those are the thoughts that are going through my head, okay, how does that sound if I actually give voice to that? Okay, well, let me say it out loud. I need a breakfast burrito, with hot sauce, and a cup of coffee, and a massage in order to be happy. Well, just hearing myself say that out loud kind of feels a little silly to me. <laughs> um, and kind of helps me to, to realize, okay, well, yeah, if it, it sounds a little silly to me that I need all those things to feel okay, then it really helps me to, to um, yeah, check myself and say, well, okay, let's dial it down a little bit. Like, what do I really need to be okay in this moment? And uh, this morning it was a little bit, of a challenge because I do have a headache and I haven't eaten for a while. But, but when I really sat with the sensations of the discomfort and the, the fear of what might happen in the future, if I don't have calories or do something like, um, but when I really sat with the fear, really sat with the discomfort, and really just allowed myself to be with that and allow those things to be here, then I realized, okay, I'm actually feeling okay more and more as I'm being with it. And then the sense of need, a need for something else decreased because my sense of okayness was rising as I was being with this actual experience. So the more we open and allow ourselves to be with whatever's here, then that sense of okayness tends to increase. And therefore the need for something else tends to decrease. <laughs>